motivational speaker is gonna give you advice. Maybe it's good advice, I don't really know, because I'm not one of them. I am gonna give you permission to act exactly the way I know you want to act. Because what I am going to help you focus on for the next several minutes is how to more effectively criticize others. Hello, I'm Jeff Havens, here to tell you about Uncrapify Your Life, a unique presentation that combines comedy with content to help your workforce improve in areas of communication, customer service, and accountability. The first section is satirical. I will encourage your audience to improve their communication skills by learning how to more effectively criticize others and how to handle personal and professional responsibility by learning how to outsource blame. By highlighting practices we're all guilty of and encouraging people to do the opposite of everything I recommend, I'm able to help my audience analyze their own behaviors while having fun at the same time. I am proud, honored, and privileged to present to you here today <laughs> with the MyFab Mofa plan. Just say it to yourselves, my fab mofa. Mm, sounds like a lullaby, doesn't it? And what does it mean? I will tell you what it means. It means make yourself feel awesome by making others feel awful. Jeff's presentation was great. He was organized, he was energized, he was funny. It was something that, he presented things in a way that I've never seen before. When you are going to criticize other people, and I know you're going to, you need to begin with one of several introductory phrases that make it sound like you're not trying to be mean, you're actually trying to help the person you're about to insult. Don't take this the wrong way. Like there's another way to take it. How about, I don't mean to sound rude. Ooh, I think you do. Here's one of my favorites. This isn't going to sound the way I mean it. And you can really appreciate these when you use them back to back. For example, what's your name? MC guy, I couldn't catch it earlier. Steve, awesome. No offense, but nobody here likes you. Yeah. I don't mean to sound rude, but seriously, send yourself on a boat that never comes back. Don't take that the wrong way. See, like, I'm having a ball. I don't even know Stan. You know what I'm saying? And, Sometimes you want to be situationally specific, so I have some situational phrases for you as well. For the parents, for the married folks, here's a great one for you guys. Now you know I love you. You've said this to your family, and it never ends with, so I made you a cake. I lived in Nashville, Tennessee for nine years. Who's from the South? Who's from the good classic South? All right, a lot of you. This one's for you guys. Bless your little heart. That is categorically the nicest, meanest thing you can say about anybody. That kid is dumb as a rock. Bless his little heart. Ah, I'd like you to turn to the person you're sitting next to. This will be very painless, I promise. Turn to them, do it, turn to them. Look them right in the eyes and repeat after me, I don't like you. See? Listen to the happiness, just skitter across the room. You all feel young again, don't you? Light in the chest. And I know, I know you didn't want to play. You guys are like, God, I hate these stupid games. But then, when I said what to do, you were like, which way do I turn? I don't even know. I'm at a round table, I got so many options. But I'll tell you what, your reaction to this could be even better. And that's why you need to be more original, more descriptive. You need to surprise them with something they didn't see coming. That's where you're going to have the most power and effect. And I'll show you that right now. Turn to the same person. This one's fun. Do it. Turn to them. Look them in the eyes and repeat after me. Don't take this the wrong way. But I hope you contract an intestinal parasite. See? That's a lot more fun, isn't it? We went through a long list of potential keynotes and what really struck us about Jeff Havens is that he was able to both entertain and deliver a message. It just created this energy um, and people were talking about it the rest of the day. I am not here to help you distribute blame. I'm here to help you outsource it, get it away from you. So you need to know ahead of time who you're gonna blame for everything that goes wrong. So here's what we're gonna do. Every table is its own group, and you're all gonna imagine that you work at the same agency and that you're all facing some problem, okay? And I do not care how you decide this amongst yourselves, but I want you to decide which person at your table is going to be blamed by everybody else at your table. So I want all of the fingers at each table pointing at one person. You have five seconds, ready, go.
You guys are amazing. You're so good. None of you took five seconds, none of you. I said go, you're like boom, done, all right. It was fun, you enjoyed it, blaming people is fun. And that's the point of today, is making you happy. But more importantly, and this is the part that I really want you to internalize, okay? You did not know what you were supposed to do before I told you to do it. You had no idea ahead of time. But you instinctively knew the weakest among you. When it comes to communication, I think it is honestly important to make fun of the people that you work with. I actually think you can judge the health of any institution, any marriage, any company to work at, any government, by how easily the people in it can make fun of the other people in it. Bad places to work, repressive systems, dictatorships, unhealthy relationships don't take a joke very well good, happy, vibrant ones do. So I think it's important to make fun of the other people around you. It's a really good way to bind ourselves together, but I don't think that should be the only way that we communicate or the primary way that we communicate. And I think for a lot of us it is. I would highly recommend Jeff to do a presentation for your group. Uh, not only will you get things from it and learn how to communicate better with your employees, but I think your employees will really enjoy it because it's something that's totally different, but yet very helpful for anybody who runs a business. It's the little things that we do that often determine whether or not we are interested in having a relationship with somebody or going somewhere else. I mean, for myself as a customer, for example, uh, if I do not have a referral from a trusted source as to where I should go for a given service, then everybody's pretty much the same. It doesn't matter to me where I get my service from. The thing that's gonna determine whether or not I want to work with you as an agent, whether or not I enjoy working with you as an employee, are the little things that you do in the communication you do with other people. Like for example, when you're giving compliments to your colleagues, you probably do it in the same four or five ways all the time. Nice job, well done, way to go, good work. I don't really know what you say, but we all tend to say the same phrases over and over and over again. And the people you're saying them to hear it less and less all the time. But if you take just this much time to change, not the meaning ever, but the words that you use, bravo, exceptional work. You knock that out of the park. We couldn't be where we are without you. You know, it's a tiny thing. It doesn't cost a dime, but it matters. Uncrapify Your Life will provide an important message to your employees in a way they are guaranteed to be talking about for months afterwards. It's the best of both worlds, education and entertainment wrapped up into one. Because improving your business doesn't have to be boring. Thanks very much for taking the time to watch this video, and have a great day. I'm gonna share with you creations of former MyFab Mofa graduates. I really like you as a person, but your parents slipped into the gene pool while the lifeguard wasn't watching. Very clever take on an old theme. Some of these get directed at me. This next one was given to me by a nine-year-old at a family function. Did you get a new haircut or just an estimate? This last one, I think, is especially inspired. Don't take this wrong, but you remind me of a slinky. Not much fun to play with, but I would still love to push you down the stairs. So.